So your name is Donald L. Newman? Correct. And you're in the Navy? United States Navy. Were you uh, drafted or did you enlist? I enlisted 1951, March, and uh, got out in March of 55. Did you serve overseas? Overseas. I went to uh, Newfoundland, Cuba, and Africa. What was your uh, military position? At, uh, well, personnel in third class. But I was in the CV, so I did that too. Were you ever assigned to a ship? Yes, but uh, I was only on the ship for like a week, and then they sent me from the West Coast to the East Coast to the aviation uh, in Jacksonville. And I stayed there seven months, and then they transferred me to Millington, Tennessee, to, to the air base up there. So what? then I requested to go in the out-of-state out of service. And I went in the CBs from then on, and we were traveling, building houses for the enlisted people that was overseas. And then we had one uh, project in Africa that we couldn't talk about or take pictures of, so that was the same way in Newfoundland, so I don't know classified stuff. Is it still classified? Still classified. So can you tell us about it? No. No? So what was it like in Africa? In Africa, it was uh, really, uh, you couldn't keep clean. <laughs> Every time you'd clean up the, your barracks or anything, well, the sandstorm would come up, come right on into the barracks and cover you up. But uh, we went to quite a few places over and that's kind of rough. But uh, we had to, we did what we had to do. When they asked us to do something, we did it. We didn't run off to Canada. What was your most memorable moment in service? When we, uh, well, I think I was up in Newfoundland when I just about got hit with a leeard. It was about six inches across. Uh, we had one ship uh, docking in there, and I was minding my own business walking down there go back to my uh, guard post. <laughs> One of the gentlemen up on top of the shift threw that yard down there and just about knocked me out. <laughs> but I think that's the biggest moment, but uh, just going overseas and just seeing uh, what we were doing to help the people in the Atlantic. Uh, didn't get over in the Pacific. I'm sorry to say I lost a lot of friends and buddies over there. But I went where they told me to go. How long would it take you to build a house? We uh, would take a house. We could probably put a house up and within a week's time we'd have ready to move into. We was, uh, heat? Was it heated? Well, not over in Africa. When, uh, we used cement block, mostly. And uh, down in Cuba they were uh, two fours in cement. And they had air conditioning there, but up in uh, Newfoundland, you didn't need anything but uh, the weather itself. It uh, took care of you. In the summer, it got warm, and in the winter time, it just blistery cold. Well, Donald, anything else you'd like to share? No, I just uh, forgive all those men and women that went to Canada and got out of the service. A lot of young men and women died for their country so that they could do that. But I hope they're happy and remorseful, remorseful for what they did. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you.